Okay, they changed the locks. They, they, I guess they want to be here when I get here. So they must have changed the locks. They know I have my here, my computer here, all my paperwork's here, all my clothes are here, and they want to lock me out. Let me try the front door. Mark, shot it. I was a very, very notorious burglar. I was a locksmith, an alarm technician, and they know this. They know enough about my history. It's ironic that you would lock me out. I could pick the locks in seconds <laughs> and come right in and help myself and, you know, be sitting at your dinner table when you come home and like, why do you lock me out? You know I'm capable of getting in. And I live here. I get mail here. It's my parole address. In an abundance of caution, because I'm so afraid of violating parole and getting in trouble, I said, let me not do that. Hello? Hey, Mark. Hey, it's Bill. Are you inside? Uh, well, we're, we just left the ball game. We'll be there uh, probably 25 minutes. So. Okay. Uh, hey, did you change the locks? Yep. <laughs> Whenever I ever demonstrated to you, I couldn't be trusted. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, you can give it your best and go ahead and try to pick them. I don't know. It hurts me in a way that they made such a prompt decision without any kind of notice. It was just completely pointless and mean-spirited to lock me out of the house. There was no justification for it. When you're dealing with creeps, you expect creepy, slimy, sneaky And that's what I got. Oh, here comes a pokey van that looks like Shorna's. Let's see if I can get screamed out again before I leave. Hey, Bill, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to a locked house. Yeah. When have I ever showed you any reason to distrust me? I'm like, oh, brother, knowing that Bill was back, you know, increased my anxiety. I could instantly felt like a tightness in my stomach. You know, he didn't give us any notice. So I have no clue what we're walking into with Bill coming back. Do you have a good trip? Not really. You guys made it way too stressful. I, while I'm in California, I get no peace at all, no real concern for my love life. When we've already had the understanding that if I had to move out, I'd be given a, you know, a week or two notice to get my together. What are your plans? Are you... Um... I had to spend $450 to get here, to get to Elkhart, on the top of all my airfare, just for ground transportation, because I couldn't call you guys to pick me up. OK, well, you did not call us. $450 now that I owe for getting a freaking off-duty taxi ride. There's always a story with Bill, always a reason that we should feel sorry for him. It's just one thing after another. This is like the most underhanded thing you could do to somebody in my status when I'm very vulnerable. You're so self-absorbed. Sharna, you are just so <laughs> self-absorbed. It's not right. Your role to demean other people or think because you have the upper hand on me because of parole and you're upstanding citizens on paper, you don't, you think you're perfect. I, I've never said I'm perfect. And you could just be condescending to me all the time. And it breaks my heart, because we used to be good friends. It does hurt me. I don't call it condescending that I remind you of what the rules are and what's expected here. We gave you a list of rules. There was nothing that constituted a sin or a felony, nothing. And the stuff about the meat, you took it as a joke. Instead, you tried to give me three-year-old protein powder. I told you I have muscle atrophy from being locked up for so long. I need is protein, real protein. We provided eggs, we provided cottage cheese. But I can't live off that. I needed meat once in a while. OK, and so walking distance is a McDonald's and a Burger King. And I told you you could go any time out there. Well, you're not listening. You're still blaming us for where you're not. You no job, no medical. The pro officer no job. told I you have several jobs, and the pro they're not recognizes in money. all of them. Par parole has them written down as being a legitimate job. Author is a legitimate job. But you Just yourself to, like, it's said not nine to five, it's not bringing sticking, money in. Sticking uh, diabetic needles in people and changing colostomy bags. Just because it's not a nine to five traditional job doesn't mean it's not a job. There's plenty of people that don't have traditional jobs. They're jobs, though. But you Instead of you supporting said... me, say, Bill, I hope you make your dreams and supporting me, you're telling me it's not a job and ridiculing me all the time support what I'm trying to do. I mean, you're the one that's been able to go on vacation, and we're tied down to jobs. OK, so I have people sponsoring me to try to get this book deal and a movie deal. When that money comes through, I have to reimburse them, just like I have to reimburse you. 
You're here in our house so you could get on your feet. We agreed to that. We didn't agree to um, pay for everything for you and, and, and... You haven't paid for everything for me. My girlfriend and her mother have been sending me money to continue on. There was an agreement that he would have a few weeks of freedom, free rent, and then I spent several hundred dollars on bill clothes and shoes and cologne and other things. And so, you know, I just kept track of that. Bill never gave me a timeline for when he would pay me back, but the understanding was from the beginning that he was going to be getting a job. Like Mary said, you know, we're getting married. When are you guys getting divorced? <laughs> we're not. So how'd that go? Did you get on I one love knee? Christians. Let's stay tuned. You guys don't get along, and you didn't get along before I got here. Wow. I'm pissed off. I'm tired. Um, you know, I don't pose any threat to you guys, but that was ridiculous locking the door. What do you think? I'm gonna like move out with your furniture? You don't have no, anything we, that I want right or that I would change. steal. You you do. Was, you do, but yes. it's the point. It's the point. You won't and leave me alone. People respectfully say, hey, you Bill, demand, just let everybody cool down. You harass don't me, give me over orders. and over. You don't understand. You, you don't, don't get understand. it. I've tried every way, which way possible. I'm not a, your child. Stop speaking down to me. Talk to me very friendly like you used to do. And now with his condescending disrespect all the time. I'd live with you guys. I've seen so much hypocrisy. The stupidest thing I ever saw in my life. I don't wish you any ill will. I mean, I'm disappointed that things have turned out the way they have. Um, not on the best of terms between us. I pray for you and for your girlfriend. You want to talk to her and pray, pray with her? I do not. I have to go to work. I feel it's beyond petty, but it's that they're asking me to leave under the, the way they're doing, going about it, because it's completely not necessary to do it this way. It just shows the mean-spirited nature that, that they've been showing me the whole time I've been here. I'm vulnerable, but I'm not gonna let you walk all over me because I'm vulnerable. I'm grateful for what they did, but that doesn't mean I have to stay there and, and be uh, emotionally abused and treated like so. No need for any more goofing around. It's not goofing around. Bill, it has been relentless. It, it is, it's been dogmatic. It's and, been and, constant. And you didn't see how everything went over south and because over of your again behavior. Over for months. You, you failed to see that. Everybody's tried to impress that upon you and you never grasp it. Bill has burned a bridge here and um, he's an adult. He has the funds through his girlfriend and stuff. He can go get a motel. Bill has really damaged our friendship. We've just had enough. I'm letting Mark make the decision about the timeout. I mean, I don't He's know. trying to make decisions, but everybody can tell you're controlling him. I don't control him. Yes, you do. No, Mark, do I control you? No, you, that's why you just said you're turning it over to me to make the decision. You can't stay here tonight. Get a hotel room. Why can't you say, you have a lot of crap in your room, Bill. If you need a few days, that's fine. But no, you want me out, like, in, in minutes. You know what? No. That just says more about your character, that's all. So that's where we're at. I've been nothing but decent to them. I offer to help around here all the time. I've helped on a few things. And, you know, they're treating me like so much trash to be put on the curb right now. I'm a survivor. I'll survive. I've got a good woman and one night in a flea bag hotel, maybe. It's not going to change anything. Well, I guess you're you so self absorbed so and you're so convinced Mary that your, ver that your version of Christianity is correct it. and everybody else is a piece of. I don't think that about people. With all due respect, I think you're full of. We're supposed to be behaving as Christians. And I don't know. I don't wish any bad on your marriage, but I mm -hmm. guarantee you it's not going much further. So. Really? <laughs> really? 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 This this whole situation has no guy has doesn't really put up with what you put this man through. I thought you were my friend. Just stop. It's ridiculous. I'm being ridiculous. I'm yes. Sure it's ridiculous. The Sheesh, way you're carrying on. I'm ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I don't closer. want to make you cry. I don't want to make you cry later, Sean. You know, it's just, I'm not it's just reality. Cry. I've seen the fights you guys have had. I've seen you running off mad at him and mad at you. You don't seem like you care about us. Or our marriage, why don't you just get out? Why don't you just go? Okay. Pack in what you need. Tell your PO you're going to a motel for the night. And that's it, a done deal. Okay, mm -hmm. take it easy. Friends don't do that. We're if, done with it. Don't We're done with it. You, 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 We're done you, with you, it. We're not talking about it anymore. You don't rob me of my ability to speak, Sean. I'm not Shauna. talking about it anymore. I don't, put my, I don't put my fingers in your face. All right, I gotta go. It, I hurt so bad.
too much already. Of course you have. After 18 years, I am finally free. They're just out of prison. I'm about to take an inmate in to live with me. You have your list of rules. What the hell did I get myself into here?